Welcome back to the Squirrel Heat YouTube channel and this is going to be the Champions League preview ahead of Liverpool versus Manchester City at Anfield tomorrow night. And first of all, I'd just like to send some big thanks to every single one of you, a an older subscriber, you know, a fairly recent subscriber and the brand new subscribers as well. The support on the last video that I made was was astounding really really astounding it has become my highest viewed video and nearly i think it is three and a half thousand views nearly 40 likes and stuff like that the comments have been really great and i love hearing from you so thanks very much for your support and if you are a new subscriber or if you are new around here and you're not subscribed yet please do feel free so but don't feel obligated to i'm not going to put any pressure on you anyway Let's get straight in. And we've got some news regarding Liverpool already. Everything was looking fine and dandy when I was at work today. Fr flicking through the news and everything like that, just on my break, you know. And everything looked absolutely fine. I get on the bus to come home and flashes up that Joel Matip, one of our centre-backs, is going to be missing the rest of the season. He's going to be missing the rest of the season. It is apparently a thigh injury. Not sure when it was picked up, but he is going to miss the entire rest of the season. So our centre-backs for the rest of this season, as it stands right now, will be Virgil van Dijk, Dejan Lovren and Ragnar Klavan. Now, I think this is exactly where you're going to start seeing much more of that Virgil van Dijk-Lovren partnership. I think you're going, to have, you're going to have to see more of that. You possibly see Klavan coming into some games as well, but expect to see the Lovren-Van Dijk partnership much more prominently than we probably would have if Matip was fit. However, we've also got Joe Gomez coming back at some point, but he is also going to be out of this game. And also we're going to be missing Adam Lallana. So we're missing some key players there. We're missing some very good players as well for us in different positions. Now, from the Manchester City point of view, doesn't look like they've got any injuries whatsoever. Yes, there's apparently Sergio Aguero is injured, but there's also a rumour that he could come back you know, it would be poetic, wouldn't it, for Sergio Aguero to come back at Anfield. I think every single time he's played against Liverpool, I think this is the start, every time he's played against Liverpool, he's scored. So, I mean, it's one of those, isn't it, really? It could happen, it might not happen. We just have to wait and see what happens on the Man City front. Man City at the weekend beat Everton 3-1. We beat Crystal Palace 2-1 coming from behind and making sure that, you know, we showed grit and determination and fight to come back into that game. And we put it to bed. We did. We did very well in that second half. The first half was awful. Now, what we have to go and do, and this is so important, we have to go and do exactly what we did against Man City in the Premier League when we beat them. You have to remember, everybody has to remember, while Manchester City are the favourites, and I think in terms of this fixture and this season, rightly so they're the favourites, you know, because there's a lot of build-up about this game going on online, and a lot of it is actually in our favour. If you look at some of the build-up for this game for the Champions League and stuff like that, most of it shows the goals that we scored against Manchester City. Those four goals that we scored at them, you know, and when we beat them. You've got to remember, though, this season, Man City have scored eight goals past us, all right? And this is, hopefully, if you are a Man City fan, shows that I do try and make my videos as unbiased as possible. The build-up is heavily in our favour. It makes us look like we're going to be the ones that are going to be slaying Man City, but they beat us 5-0. You know, we should have won that game against Man City 4-1, but they, we started to let them back into it. They almost drew the game and made it 4-4. We are the only team that's beaten them. But we only just about beat them. Let's, let's remember that. And it was a very, very good victory as well. Very, very good victory. Well deserved. We played very well. We have to play like that again. And I think in that game, if I'm right, we didn't have Van Dijk in the team. We couldn't play him. I think we'd pl he played the week before or something against Everton. This might be completely wrong, by the way. But... Um, we didn't have Van Dijk in the team for some reason um, I'm pretty sure we didn't anyway I might be wrong you guys can correct me on this if I am wrong so we will have Van Dijk in defence hopefully <laughs> okay hopefully barring any further injuries please don't give us more injuries we don't want touch wood and this is a solid oak table this this is a massively solid oak table you could knock yourself out on it don't know um I'm hoping we don't get any more injury news like we've had recently because um, that'd be devastating. Let's go through, anyway, let's go through the team that I think that we're going to get. I think you're going to get Karius in goal. I think you're going to get Trent Alexander-Arnold on the right-hand side. He's come in for a lot of criticism recently, but 
I think he'll start on the right hand side. The only change there that could happen would be Nathaniel Klein. And are we going to bring Nathaniel Klein back into the fold, straight into a Champions League quarter final game? I don't think we will. He's thrown curveballs at us before, Jurgen Klopp, but I don't think he's going to risk this one. I think he's going to go with Alexander Arnold. Then I think you're going to get um, you're going to get Van Dijk and Lovren in defence. Obviously, with Matip missing, it's going to have to be those two or Ragnar Klavan. But I do think that you'll get. But I think you'll get Van Dijk and Lovren in this game. And I think against Everton, you might get Lovren and Ragnar Klavan. But we'll come on to that in a couple of days' time. Left back, I think you'll see Andrew Robertson. Got to have that man with the killer balls. He is the informed left back in the Premier League right now, I think. And I think he's absolutely magnificent for us. He does bits for us. His crosses are great. His passing's brilliant. His running back and forth is absolutely brilliant. His attacking play is awesome. His defensive play is getting better and better. Left back... Andrew Robertson, no doubt. Now, in midfield, obviously, we're missing Adam Lallana. Now, we can go with a really solid midfield. We can really try and go with a solid midfield. And what I mean by that is we can go with um, Emre Chan. I think Emre Chan is still injured. That's another injury that I forgot about. So, he might still he might miss this game as well, but I'm not sure. haven't read anything about him to be, today, to be honest. So... I'll leave that one a bit open-ended, but I do think he's still injured. So you most likely, in my opinion, you're probably going to see a midfield of James Milner, Jordan Henderson, and Jeannie Wijnaldum. Solid. Nah, maybe lacking creativity in parts, I think. And Wijnaldum, if he does play, he's really going to have to up his game because he's becoming the invisible man. Every He's becoming the invisible man again. He's there. He's doing stuff, but he's not really making an impact. Now, the only thing that I might change there, if it's me... And I think because he didn't start the game at the weekend, Oxlade Chamberlain. Oxlade Chamberlain, alongside the steel and grit of Henderson and Milner, could be really good. Get Oxlade Chamberlain driving through that midfield like he did against Man City in uh, Anfield last time, and he scored the opening goal. I'm not saying he's going to do the exact same thing again, but I think we need that in the midfield. We need that drive through the midfield to drive through to the forwards, and the forwards will be Firmino, Salah, and Mane. Why would it change? Unless there's any injuries, you don't change that front three. That is exactly how it's going to be. Man City are going to be absolutely horrific to play against. And I say that because they don't look like they've missed a beat since the international, you know, the international duty. Now, on the flip side of that, whilst Liverpool didn't look very good at the weekend, we still came out, we ground out the result, and we got the victory. We got a pretty convincing victory in the end as well. We did have to fight, we had to claw, we had to scratch, but we got it done. And that is the main thing that we can take away from this, that game as well. You've also got to take into consideration, people are saying, oh my God, Man City are absolutely plastering Everton here and Liverpool are struggling against Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace gave Man City one of their toughest games of the season before they played us and we beat them. So you have to remember that as well, because I think Palace were doing pretty damn well and were unlucky not to, to actually get more out of the game than they did. So it's styles make fights. Styles make football matches. And our style against Man City's style, there's only one guarantee in this game. Goals. Definitely going to be goals in this game. Doesn't matter who they're coming from, there's going to be goals. Now, how do I see this game going out? I can't believe I'm going to try and give a prediction here. I am going to pull in Liverpool's favour. The second leg is going to, is going to tell you so much because they are strong at home. They're so strong at home at Man City. But we're strong at our home as well. We are strong at home. And I'm going to pull... Ah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it, guys. I'm going to go for it. Champions League quarterfinal, first leg at Anfield. Liverpool versus Man City. It's going to be... It's going to be 3-2 to Liverpool. 3-2 to Liverpool. I think Salah's going to get on the score sheet. Firmino. And I'm going to go Oxlade-Chamberlain. Oxlade-Chamberlain's going to get one. So it's going to be 3-2 to Liverpool. And then it's on to the second leg. I hope we can get the victory. I'll take a 1-0. I will. I'll take a 1-0, but I think it's going to be 3-2 to Liverpool. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. If you please, whether you're a Man City fan, a neutral, or a Liverpool fan, let me know it in the comments below. Who would your starting lineup be? What do you think the score is going to be? And how do you think... Just just let me know your thoughts. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to this game tomorrow, but I'm really nervous about it as well. So, anyway... Thanks very much for watching this video. Thanks so much for all the new subscribers and everything like that. It's been absolutely, it's absolutely magnificent. It really, really is. Um, and hopefully we can just grow and grow. Thanks so much for watching this video. Do like and subscribe if you're new around here. Leave a comment, share it around, subscribe if you're new around here, and I will catch you later.